Good morning guys and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and today I'm gonna to be filming a what I eat in a day. Now I know it sounds kind of like I'm sick, but I swear it's just that I'm very groggy the first thing in the morning. I don't usually film this early and this what I eat in a day is actually like what I would eat a normal work day. This is not my first one, but it's definitely been uh, the first since I think like March when I was on spring break. So this is like a real work day. So for breakfast, I started with a green drink. I just use a greens powder from the brand Vega. I found that it's my favorite one out of the different brands I've tried. And I just mixed that with water to kind of start out. And the flavor is mint lemonade. And then for breakfast, I've been doing oatmeal. Um, I do actually carpool to work now, which I love so much and as a passenger I've been able to bring oatmeal and eat it in the car so I bring it in a thermos today's flavor was chocolate raspberry I'll do oats a mix of like water and almond milk I will also do some protein powder just to help with fullness and then some of the sweetness and then I added raspberries in as well and a few chocolate chips so that was breakfast this morning and I will check in with you guys later on. Hello you guys. So it is now lunchtime. I have my lunch break here at school. Now since I've been having oatmeal in the morning that usually does fill me up so I don't have a huge lunch. I also try to keep my lunches as easy as possible so it's just kind of a grab and go sort of thing. So I do always have a chocolate peanut butter Lara bar. These are mostly made up of like dates and nuts so I really enjoy them they're definitely my favorite they are a little on the pricier side but since they are um, pretty much just dates and nuts like those ingredients are more expensive anyway so those are a really good fit for me and always a treat I look forward to I also always bring a banana as well so I always eat those two things and then I also keep an apple in here as well. I don't eat the apple every day. Sometimes I just am not as hungry for it um, or don't wish to eat it, but that's usually what I do. I know it's fairly light. Sometimes I will have leftovers from the night before, but I have found that, especially with my schedule, I teach four 65 minute classes back to back and we don't even have passing periods. So it's, you know, from eight, 05 to 12 40 it's just a go 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 time and I don't really actually have time to really think about getting hungry because the time flies by so quickly and then after my lunch is done I have my planning time until about two o'clock and then we end the day with uh, like a elective class so really I don't get that hungry at school and then we'll usually have a snack when I get home so I'll be eating that and getting some work done in my room as well. Hello guys, I just got home from school and I'm having my snack. I have just some Whole Foods classic hummus here with some carrot chips. I mean, they're not actually chips, they're carrot. And then also some falafel chips. These are not definitely the most nutritious snack, but if you are a chip fan, the falafel chips are pretty tasty. I will catch up with you guys a little bit later for dinner. All right guys, I'm gonna be putting together dinner now. I have some spaghetti squash that I roasted it before when I had something else in the oven and I just dumped out. This was from one small squash for like $1.99. So it's just amazing how much volume you get from it. And then I'm going to be mixing that with some broccoli. This was just a pack of frozen broccoli that I microwaved. And then I whipped up a sweet potato cashew like mac and cheese sauce. And so I'm gonna be putting these together and just putting it in the oven. It seems maybe a little bit more elaborate, but really, since I had done the roasting of the squash already, the actual assembly is really all I have to do, and then I'm ready to eat. So first we'll put the squash in here. What are your thoughts on spaghetti squash? I know Jake is personally not really a fan. <laughs> I'll sometimes roast it in like a little boat where you just cut half of the squash and you pour sauce and whatever other toppings on it and I have enjoyed that. But this is my first time doing it with, with mac and cheese, but I just wanted it like a little bit lighter. I'm gonna add in our broccoli. And then now the cheese sauce. Well, cheese sauce, sweet potato and cashew. So now I'm just going to mix this up a bit. So everything is coated with the sauce. So perfect, I have mixed it all up and I'm gonna put it in the oven. You could totally add breadcrumbs or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep it really simple with this. All right guys, my spaghetti squash mac and cheese is baking in the oven, but I thought for a dessert tonight, 
I actually bought a bunch of avocados. We went to Costco. We don't have a membership there, but it was fun to kind of try it out. And they had these beautiful avocados. And so there are two of them that are ripe tonight. And so I haven't had this in a while because I haven't bought avocados in a while, but I'm gonna be making a lime avocado sorbet. It's really fun because the avocado is such a creamy texture, especially when frozen, and I feel like it really pairs well with the lime. So cutting open avocado is always the moment of truth, if it's going to be a good one or not. I feel optimistic, but let's see. Ooh, that's beautiful. So creamy. So I'm just going to add this into the blender here. And this could definitely be eaten kind of as like a mousse or almost like a key lime sort of thing, but also can be frozen into the sorbet. Another beautiful one. Oh, that's the greatest feeling. I feel like sometimes I have just terrible luck with avocados. Because I'm doing it in the blender, I am going to add a little bit of almond milk. Not too much though, just to help with the blending. And then some lime juice. Some maple syrup for sweetness. A pinch of salt. All right, time to blend. So pretty here. So I actually did end up almost completely fitting in this container. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer to let it uh, firm up a little bit. And then that will be our dessert. So the spaghetti squash is out of the oven. You can take a look at it. It looks so good and really creamy and delicious. So I'm pretty excited. And then I am going to top my portion with a little bit of some pecan parmesan I made. Um, sometimes I use a mix of cashews and pecans, but in this case it was just pecan, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and salt. And that makes, I find, a really yummy parmesan style sauce. Again, that's completely dairy free vegan. So sprinkle some of that on. And so there we go. So now it is dinner time. All right, guys, so we have finished dinner and now it's time for dessert. The avocado lime sorbet slash mousse um, had chilled a little bit. It wasn't completely frozen, but I have that here and I just added some blueberries. So this will be dessert and I don't really anticipate eating much else. I might have some peppermint tea later. Like I said before, this was technically my second one, but the other one had been so long ago. I will link it at the end of the video here if you're curious. So thank you so much for joining me today as I showed you guys what I ate. If you do enjoy this kind of video, please let me know. I know there's a lot of what I ate in a day videos out there. And so if this is something you enjoy, let me know. And if not, then I won't really make them in, as much in the future. If you like minimalism or healthy living content and haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you can actually do that right here. And you can check out past videos over here. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.